Well, hello again. I'm trying to think of how I can participate in the conversation without stirring the pot. The fact that we are not in high school does not mean that there is no such thing as bullying anymore. Bullying can can both be done by people who are right and people who are wrong. It is really important not to engage in bullying behavior no matter which side of the argument you're on. Internet bullies specifically really want to get a rise out of you. And as soon as you give them that rise, they're going to continue to behave the way that they got the rise out of you. Keeping in mind that um, it is important to stand up for yourself. And so um, I don't want to make it sound like I don't think you should engage someone if they are saying totally terrible things. Um, but I do want to make sure that we all understand that um, the idea of watching videos and subscribing because there's a train wreck going on does sometimes hurt the person that you want to support. I am a connoisseur of YouTube drama. I love YouTube drama. Um, and I understand the desire to like hate watch someone. Um, the problem there is that they're still gaining their clout out of your hate watching. We are never required to publicly call someone out. We are all supposed to be somewhat professional. Um, whether or not you want to be a professional author, um, if you're making a YouTube channel, there is some sense of decorum there. If you want to maintain any sort of a relationship with other people, you need to treat them like you both are adults, which should be true. You at least owe it to them to give them a chance to either defend themselves, right the wrong, or speak with you about what your concerns are before you go posting all over the internet that this person is a demon. I wanted to talk a little bit about what the difference is between a scammer and a person who you don't like. A scammer's functioning is to take advantage of other people. If a person's functioning is not to take advantage of other people, they're not a scammer. They might be an asshole, but they're not a scammer. A scammer takes advantage of the lack of knowledge someone has about something and uses that to take advantage of them, whether it be financially, emotionally, or otherwise. For this reason, I'd like to point out that not liking someone's book doesn't make them a scammer. Thinking someone plagiarized doesn't make them a scammer, unless you can prove they plagiarized. Plagiarism is a really big fucking accusation to make against someone, especially someone whose job is writing. So please, take special care when you say someone is plagiarizing, that you know what the fuck you're talking about, because you probably don't. Just because two things are similar doesn't mean they're plagiarized. Plagiarism is not a similarity. Plagiarism is a direct theft. So if you're too stupid to know what fucking plagiarism is, get the fuck off YouTube, stop writing books, and go take a fucking class on plagiarism. Also, you're an idiot.